story with bbc.com forward slash news. Follow the story for all the latest with BBC News. Hello, you're watching BBC News. I'm Rich Preston. Our top stories. Unconfirmed reports from Somalia say security forces have ended a 30-hour siege of the Hyatt Hotel in the capital Mogadishu. Up to 20 people may have been killed. In Russian annexed Crimea, Sevastopol, the home of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, comes under drone attack again. The Russian-appointed governor urges people to remain calm. Tribal warriors in South Africa proclaim a new king of the Zulus after a year-long family feud. And Ukraine's heavyweight boxer Alexander Usyk retains his four unified world titles with a victory over Britain's Anthony Joshua that he dedicated to the Ukrainian armed forces. Hello and welcome to BBC News. We begin with some news which has been breaking out of Somalia over the last couple of hours where security forces, sorry, there you are, where security forces say they've ended a siege that had lasted over 30 hours at the Hyatt Hotel in the capital Mogadishu, where Islamist gunmen were reported to be holding hostages. There's been no independent verification and no official statement from the Somali government. The militant group Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility. Well, our reporter Emily Brown has been following the story and she joins me now. Emily, what's the latest? Well, we know that this first began on Friday evening when the Al-Shabaab group were known to have detonated at least two bombs outside the Hyatt Hotel in the capital. Dozens were evacuated from the building, which is said to be popular with both politicians and journalists. We know that the siege is said to have lasted for 30 hours, with gunmen having held hostages inside. Now, we have seen some footage in which you can hear the gunshots. This was really an intense battle for control. It's not yet known how many people died during the siege. Witnesses say at least 20. One of the reported victims is the hotel's owner, although, again, this hasn't been confirmed. But earlier, a security official said 13 civilians had been killed. The militant group, Al-Shabaab, says some of its fighters managed to escape, but a Somali security commander told AFP the gunmen are dead and said, we've had no incoming gunfire from the building in the past hour or so. The official gave no information about the total number of casualties in the attack or how many Al-Shabaab fighters have been killed. So there are still many unconfirmed reports. Emily, any idea why this has happened in the first place? Well, Al-Shabaab is the main Islamist militant group in Somalia. It's engaged in a long-running conflict with the federal government there. It's the first attack of its kind since a new president took office in May. Some believe the deadly assault is a reaction to the government's recent comments, saying that they will intensify response to the armed militant group. We're yet to hear an official statement from the government, although security officials told reporters that the government would give a press briefing about the attack on Sunday, but we don't yet know when this will be. OK, Emily Brown, thank you for now. Well, let's go now to Javadan.